What is up ladies and gentlemen, this is Jeff Benjamin with I Download Blog. Let's talk about brevity. This is a tweak that allows you to send a quick canned response using the send button where the send button normally resides. It now says okay. By default, brevity puts okay as a canned response when you don't type anything in the text box for iMessage. So that allows you to quickly respond using your canned reply just like that, you just tap on the OK button in that instance. But if you want to change it, you can. You can change the can response. And of course, if you just type in the message box, it will send whatever you actually type in like normal. But if you don't type anything in, it allows you to just send your can response here. So that's a really cool tweak because if you're always saying like OK or if you like me saying meh as a response to somebody saying something that you don't like, well, you can do that. But of course, you can go in into the preferences and change up whatever you want the can response to be. I have it set to write on. If I can get this type, I want to capitalize the R. So I'll just delete it and type it all over again. So there we go. So write, oh man, typing is terrible. All right, write on, there we go. And then what you can do is then you go out to your, your messages app here after you save your changes, there's a save changes button there. And then you see right there in the message box, you see where it says right on, because that's too long to actually put on the button itself. You have an ellipsis there as a replacement. If it was like, okay, it would put okay there on the uh, button. But since right on is too long, it just puts it right in the text message box. And if you don't type anything in there, it'll send that can response. So it's a pretty cool tweak, especially if you're always sending the same can responses over and over. Brevity is an upcoming tweak that you're going to like. It's a shortcut for your messages. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. This is Jeff with the iDownload blog.